Hi, I'm Stephen the Pet Man. I'm going to show you the Big Apple Flexible Heat Rope today. And this product is really interesting. Uh, heat rope is pretty new to this, this country. It's been used in Europe a long time, but uh, just came over to the U.S. recently. We've been carrying this, I'd say, about five years now. It is a very well-made product, completely waterproof. Um, so it can go on the inside of the cage, it can go under the cage, it can go around branches, you can create a heating grid. I mean, it is, it, it really is a flexible product. They call it the flexible heat rope, but it's flexible as far as its uses too. So one thing you need to know about this is it's infrared. So it's sort of like a, a heat mat, except it's a heat mat that you can actually direct the heat exactly where you want it to go. And that's what I really like about this product. A heat mat you lay underneath, it's great, but it gives a designated area. Um, and you can't bend it like you can this. Uh, flexible is, is great. So you should know that we carry three sizes. It comes in 12.9 feet, it comes in 18 feet, and 27 feet. The 12.9, to give you an idea of how efficient it is, only uses 25 watts. And then 50 at the 18 feet, and then 27 feet gives you 80 watts. So that's quite a lot of heating power for not a lot of energy usage. So it's, it gives, you know, it, for me, it's sort of the energy star rating of the heat world. Now, um... As far as how this stuff works is you can create a grid. And by the way, I just want to mention that there are other brands that do sell a heat rope, but when they list their sizes, they list the entire length. But then you have parts of the rope which are not usable. So when we list our product, we list it to where the heat rope actually starts heating at this blue ring and ends heating at the other blue ring. So when we say 12.9 feet, you're basically getting 12.9 feet, not uh, listing 16 feet, but you can only use 12 of it. So uh, we, we, we believe that you have to be, the customer really wants to know what, how much heating potential they have from the rope. So you can depend on our numbers to be correct. But in any event, um, how you can build a grid is very simple. What I advise is that just like heat mat, you would determine how much of the bottom of an enclosure you want to do. So I recommend 30 to 50 percent, no more than 50 percent because you have to get your reptile the availability of it to get away from the heating source so it can thermal regulate. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay out a thermal grid using this heat rope. And what I would do is I would get my first piece and I would determine the length that I want it to be, the grid, and basically you lay down your first strip, you would put foil tape down here to mount it straight like this, then you would start your next piece about an inch to an inch and a half apart, just depends on how warm you want the grid to be in between. So you would begin getting this sort of grid as you go out, and you would just keep laying the grid out so you would have something like this, something like this, and then you would just continue to zigzag back and forth to make a grid. Once you're done with your grid size, you don't have to use all your heat rope, but once you're done with your grid size, then you would typically just take your cage and place it on top of the grid. Now, we wouldn't want our grid to cover our entire unit like we're doing here. You would build the grid to the size cage appropriate. So basically that's how it would work is if you're using with a grid. The other neat thing that I really like about flexible heat rope is you can literally put it around anything. So here's a branch that we would typically use inside of a reptile enclosure and let's say you wanted to heat this branch. You could do the same thing that we did with the grid and literally start to wrap around every inch or so you would, you would take it like this, and you can make it tight as you go around. Um, it's helpful to have two people because you can hold it in place. As long as you take the top one, you're generally pretty good. Um, you can wrap it and continue wrapping. Anyway, you get the idea that you would continue to make a grid down the branch all the way to the end or half the branch or whatever you want to do. If this is an animal's favorite sort of hanging out place, you might only want to do the grid 
on half of the branch and allow the reptile to get away but still hang on their favorite branch. So again, this is really neat that you can wrap it around things. Uh, it doesn't have to be vines. It could be any kind of cage furniture. The one caveat that I have to say is depending on the type of reptile that you have, you, have to do, you do have to check to make sure that they haven't frayed any of the lines or anything like this because while it is pretty much waterproof, if they cut into the line, there is, of course, the potential for an issue. Um, so you don't want to keep this in there if you notice any of your any of the rubber being cut all the way through to the wire. So do be careful of that. Um, the the final thing that we want to talk about is that um, this product does get very hot. So being that it can get to 120 degrees or hotter you must use this with a rheostat or thermostat. I highly recommend a thermostat because this product is better controlled with a thermostat. Rheostats are, are a little bit more prone to failure and uh, we don't want overheating and potentially hurting your reptile. So recommend a thermostat. When you plug the thermostat or you plug this into the thermostat, take the probe and tape the probe directly to the heat rope so that the thermostat knows exactly what's going on with the heat rope. And don't forget that your probe has to go past the blue mark either in the beginning or the end because it doesn't have, like the, the very tip of this doesn't have any heat. So you want the thermostat to know what is going on. So in between the blue lines is where you would put the probe. Anywhere where's the heated part. Okay, and we do recommend the BAH 1000 thermostat. So I think that's all we need to know about heat rope. It is an excellent heating source for any type of reptile. And um, this is available in our heating department. Uh, so you can type the word heat rope into our search box on our website. It'll come right up. It's available in the three sizes we discussed. They're very affordable heating. And I think you'll find that you can get a lot of use out of this for many years. I'm Stephen the Pet Man, and I thank you for watching.